Hello Libra. Welcome to your June 2023 tarot reading. We have a lot to talk about. June going into July, mid-July. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. Uh, if you haven't seen my morning musings uh, from today, um, which was about um, pruning the trees. Okay, here's what's going on. Here's a 411. Jupiter is in Taurus, which is great. It is conjuncting the North Node, which is uh, your life purpose, um, your relationships that are meant to be in your life, and it is expanding those, expanding your heart space. Okay, Taurus, the ruler of Taurus is Venus. Your, your emotions, your relationships, okay? A great fortune coming from them. Taurus also rules the second house, which technically actually is your um, eighth house. And the eighth house is the house of other people's money, taxes, stuff like that, inheritance, and it is, a, it is the... House of Transformation, ruled by Scorpio, which is where the South Node is. Okay, so, <laughs> that is karmic relationship if I've ever seen it. Libra, it is really strong with you. Probably, um, you, um, a Scorpio is actually in your um, second house of things that you value. So, really, there's um, if, if there's certain people in your life that you put a lot of value in um, that may have let you down, there is a karmic lesson there. Which brings me to the next thing that's happening is the full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius rules your, um, I gotta think about this for a second. Sagittarius is in, um, your third house. Excuse me. Your house of communications. Tr short term travel. You know, things like that. Um, and so, you know, there, and this full moon in Sagittarius is very strong energy of breaking karmic ties, okay? Um, and I don't know why I pulled this card early. Um, being spontaneous, that's Sagittarius energy, and there's a good, gorgeous moon there. I'm going to set that aside for right now. I kind of got sidetracked. But... Anyhow, with these karmic relationships and with your past life connections in your 8th house, house of death, there is a past life connection here that is run its cycle, it's coming to a close. And it's a house of partnerships, it could be a friendship, but it's very, to me, it's more than just work unless work is very personal to you. But it is like a personal relationship, romantic, family, friends, things on, on a personal note is what I'm picking up for you. And something has run its course. And it's not serving you. Uh, and there were, like I said, lessons to be learned from it. And you are cutting ties. And with that full moon in Sagittarius, we are looking at um, cutting off communication. It's not just severing ties and just going away, maybe hello, see you and them in the streets, or occasional messenger, how are you doing? This is more like ghosting. You know, um, ghosting somebody that was not helpful to you, that was maybe even detrimental, that held you back in life. 
uh, a connection that you may have been holding on to for dear life you know this full moon is release and if you want to see what it's releasing something if you want to see exactly how it's being released or what you released go back six months uh, to the new moon in Sagittarius what were you manifesting at that point in time whatever you are manifesting is run its cycle okay it's either coming to fruition where if it was a certain goal and you're you're truly positively manifesting something you're going to see that coming in to play into fruition if it was negative thoughts like Oh, I would love to have this money. I really want this, but I know I'm not going to get it. Or I, I'm not worthy of it. That is what you are manifesting. And that's coming here. That's what is coming to pass. You know, more of that lack. That you need to use this full moon in Sagittarius to shed that thought process. Okay, let's take a look here at your cards you've got um, restoration okay reprise recovery come back restoration okay and you got compassion empathy kindness this is um, so much temperance energy as well um, and you've got primal, connecting deep within, secret, a sacred dance in your instinct. Okay, so Libra, what I am getting here is about a sense of healing, a sense of compassion towards yourself. You've taken that deep dive in in order to recover from something that was damaging something that was hurtful painful um this could be a physical illness this could be emotional mental whatever this could be recovering from a relationship a break in a relationship but somehow you the the primal is that instinct that survival you've been relying on that instinct and surviving something now it's a time to shed any of those negative energies, those negative thoughts, those negative feelings. It's time to shed those. It's time to take that deep dive, going within, having compassion on your own self, on your own soul, and even on, don't shoot the messenger, the person that did the damage. Showing compassion to their soul. They're going to have their karma. They're going to have their day in karma court. But this is about not allowing it to harden you, Libra. Now, you, Libra is a sign of the we. It is a sign of partnerships. That's what you rule. That's what you govern. Okay? And you rule the seventh house. And you are governed by um, Venus is your ruling planet. You share that ruling planet with Taurus. And guess where all this activity is happening? Well, the activity with the North Node and Jupiter conjunct in Taurus so now we went through a series last month of um, eclipses between Scorpio and Taurus you know so there's a lot that's happened for you you've gone through a lot a lot of shedding uh, being uh, let's say you were eclipsed okay and now you're kind of dealing with the aftermath at this point and it's requiring a deep dive within your heart space, within your soul, and in order to bring about um, a restructuring, if you will, and rebuilding. You're going into a rebuilding phase. Part of that rebuilding phase is, you know, forgiveness, compassion, loving yourself, and you're coming through a you're going through a recovery period at this time now I will go ahead and share this one about spontaneity being spontaneous okay um, that is very much Sagittarian energy 
And that's how I'm reading it, Sagittarius. The full moon in Sagittarius. And more than the spontaneous energy, but more of the full moon. The spontaneous combustion, the spontaneous release. It's almost like a tower, an epiphany moment where you just see things crystal clear. You know what you have to do and you have that determination to do what you need to do for that survival instinct that we talked about. Okay. Let's see what other energies we have wanting to come out here. Get some tea leaf cards. Virgo had a shit ton. I will only go through them each pile once. However many cards want to come out for you, that's what we take. Whether it's 20 cards or 2 or 3, doesn't matter. Even if there would have only been one card. Okay, that's it. You got two cards. And we have the vine. Seek out information that will help you. Virgo had a message about self-help books. Getting them through situations that they're dealing with. That could apply to you as well. Um, and the, I'm here. Some of you may be reaching out to religion. Reaching out to a higher power. Because I just heard... I am the vine, you are the branches. I know that that is, a, that is something that Christ said in the Bible. And so I'm feeling like divine help is available to you. Casket, something going out of your life at the end of a situation. This is the death card. You know, I just got done talking about that. Something coming to an end. You know, a... Uh, a certain connection that has run its course right okay show me Libra's energy show me Libra show me Libra And I'm being shown here, you know, I'm kind of, I, if you're new to my channel, I have my crystal ball here for a reason. Some of the messages come through my crystal ball as I'm reading the cards. And that you are the vine, I am the vine, you are the branches. It is like saying that you are an extension of the divine. We are all made of the, the, from the divine source and we are all connected Everybody's connected energetically. Um, and simply put, that means reaching out energetically for assistance in your healing process. It's part of that going within. It's going to be helpful and beneficial. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Go look at the undercards, what's going on behind the scenes. Seven of Chalices, or Seven of Cups, with the Two of Pentacles. Uh, this is kind of like the backstory, back thing, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. King of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. So, This is almost telling me worrying about and being concerned about what you don't know. What are you're saying? What am I, me, Libra, not being told? Um, I think there's a little bit of uncertainty, and there there's also this energy about romanticizing the past. Sometimes you go back and forth. Libra, you go back and forth between the memories of the past 
and the love you once felt. But then it just brings about confusion here. Nine of Swords is that energy of worry, um, not sleeping. Some of you may not be sleeping well at night. You may be having dreams concerning a soul bond. And this feels like a past life relationship, which we already touched on a little bit in the astrology. That with that, um, with that Scorpio energy in your second house, things that you value, past something or somebody in the physical world that you valued, that you have a past life history concerning. For some of you that could be a business, for some of you that could be an object or that could be money. Maybe you had money in a past life, you know. But for most of you, especially with the Six of Cups here, there is a past life relationship that you valued. And there seems to be an ending here with that. And some of you may find yourself in fantasy land, daydreaming. Um, to the point where you're having trouble sleeping because your mind keeps going. You keep thinking about what you are desire. You're picturing yourself still with this person. Or you're playing out a scenario over and over in your head of what might be or what should be. Now, with that said, thoughts to become things. Now, we're going to take that to another level. Suppose all those daydreaming, that fantasizing, that visualization that you do at night before you go to sleep as the last thing that's on your mind and you manifest this back into your life, this relationship. What are you manifesting back in Libra? Are you manifesting something that you're going to wish you didn't? That's just going to cause you anxiety, concern, stress. So just kind of keep that in mind here. Okay, let's take a look at your Celtic Cross. Yeah, eight, eight of Swords. With the uh, Three of Wands. Some of you have got yourself so boxed in. Okay. This is really refusing to think outside the box. Refusing and not able to see your way ahead or looking to move ahead. The Three of Wands is trying to push you into your next phase. The Eight of Swords, where the situation is, is saying, the Eight of Swords says, nope, I am not moving forward. The Eight of Swords is a stuck energy. This person is standing on the dock here, okay? Looking at the cargo, looking at that boat, but not doing anything. Okay, and that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. But with that Jupiter North Node conjunction, along with the full moon in Sagittarius, I feel there's something here that, I, and I feel like it may be. You're stuck in this energy and spawn, and there's a spontaneous thought process, a spun, this epiphany, this tower, this enlightenment that says, okay, I'm ready. It's time. It's time. What's below is the hangman. Okay. That's that suspension underneath, internally. That's why you need to go dig deep within and work on yourself. In the recent past, Seven of Athames. You're, st you're stuck in the thought process of feeling robbed. Above you, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Um, your conscious awareness. You know, you, you may, things have been moving so slow for you that maybe you don't even realize that your things are progressing. Now, all of a sudden, something's just going to take off here. 
let's see near future four of swords so you're going you, this there is a sense of healing from some deception or some betrayal here um, message from spirit we have three of swords okay that is talking about the pain I will get into this further external influence the battle wagon also known as the chariot so there is something rushing in towards you or you are rushing away I think there's something rushing in somebody going to battle we will see um, hopes and fears the high priests or also known as the hierophant potential outcome is the witch or also the magician this is you know I kind of touched on that manifestation here already are you what are you manifesting Libra what are you manifesting make sure it's something that you want okay because you don't you want to learn the lesson you don't want to have to repeat this you don't want to have to go through the heartbreak all over again and for somebody out there I need to say this once a cheater always a cheater okay let's dig in here right dead center I kinda of touched on this already you're stuck in your head thinking you can't move forward you're waiting on something you're waiting on something or somebody you're waiting on your cargo to come in and there's cargo coming in but you're saying telling yourself that's not what I want it's not what I want how do you know it's not what you what you want unless you look at those cups at that cargo coming in unless you look at it how do you know it's not what you want um, there's a sense of needing to research you need to open up Pandora's box you need to open up Pandora's box here because you are stuck in a certain way of believing and you are telling yourself you don't want anything else this is what I want and you're not leaving yourself open for new experiences um, but that looks like it's about to change though it does because it looks like you're putting something to rest it looks like you are ending something here okay okay let's take a look here I do want to clarify this central issue what is Libra waiting on what is Libra so stuck on waiting on some of you it's an apology page of cups you're waiting on somebody who occupies occupies real estate in your heart space to stop juggling you hello betrayal stop juggling you to make up their mind and come come forward you're looking for somebody to come back if this if you are not if you are a Libra that is not looking for reunion with somebody this is not your reading because the Libra I'm talking to has put their life on hold for somebody else and I will use me as an example I'm not afraid to admit it I am guilty of doing this exact effing thing putting my life on hold waiting on somebody to return so don't feel bad if that's what you've been doing the purpose of these readings is to make you aware of the energy and what you're doing so you can make adjustments and changes again at the root on hold time out we still have time out here in the near future so I'm talking to a Libra 
who is waiting and waiting for a very long time your conscious awareness you know that it's been it's taken a hot minute are they coming back are they coming forward are they going to be reliable and loyal or is it going to be the same old shit okay underneath your unconscious awareness is you've been sacrificing you've been sacrificing your heart sacrificing your future sacrificing potential relationships and you are well aware of that and with this knight of pentacles in your conscious awareness you are well aware that's taking a very long time okay and you're consciously aware that you need to move on there's a sense of caution here okay um, I think you are moving forward very very cautiously because you've been through the seven of swords okay you've been through lies and betrayal you've been cheated on or whatever and you have this very cautious movement forward but it's very very slow because you're still even now you're still kind of thinking I know I gotta move on I know I should move forward but what if you keep saying but what if okay so in the near future though you do have the four of swords the four of swords can be a time out a time of rest a time of contemplation so you are in a very near future I would say that this near future card is usually um, in about two weeks because this is a one month reading so mid-June you are in contemplation mode let's see what you're contemplating here what's Libra contemplating eight of pentacles working putting work in some of you may be diving you're thinking about work um, you don't want to think about this other situation you guys might be um, going diving into work instead of anything personal and then we have the king of swords so I think you got your shifting gears and there is some kind of goal that you want to achieve in relation to your pentacle your money some of you are your way of healing your heart space is immersing yourself in work some of you you've decided that you're best served working on your finances some of you are shifting your focus away from all the background noise and you're tuning it out and you're focusing on work you're working on and some of you you're thinking about you're working on your confidence level uh, you're working on your desires where's my passion at and diving into some kind of passion that might be your way of healing Libra um, uh, and saying if I get enough time away from this person and I dive into my work and I feel good about my work and I'm successful that'll make me feel better about myself under the deck we do have Hierophant Taurus energy with the death meanwhile what's really going on as you're healing from the ending of a cycle a karmic cycle there was an end of a committed high-level relationship okay now your message from spirit involves the three of swords and I'm tying it back to here the four of swords the three to the four okay spirit is saying you've been through the pain you've been through the worst part of it um, and there's no need to dramatize it anymore I don't know where that cut off 
but um, as I was saying, saying you've been through the worst, it's time to lay that part of your life to rest, close out that cycle, be open to new experiences. Um, it's, it's time for healing. Um, I'm going to draw a couple cards on this Three of Swords for additional information from Spirit, additional messages. Uh-huh. There's the Queen of Swords. Our Queen of Wands, I'm sorry. Spirit is saying you're a beautiful creature. You're attractive. You're vibrant. It's time to bring that fire back up. It's time to feel alive again. It's time to chase your true passions. Okay. Um, they want me to pull up here. <coughs> Hermit. Okay. So we've got energy here of finding your path, path and what you're passionate about. And this Three of Swords is, help, is helping you do that. You're healing from the Three of Swords. And that Three of Swords, the pain that you felt, makes you re recognize what you want and what you don't want. There is a sense of wisdom here, obtaining wisdom, and the Hermit is also healing from that pain and learning from it and discovering you, discovering what makes you tick, discovering what you are truly passionate about. Okay? Now, we have external influences here is the battle wagon. This is the chariot. The universe is coming in and moving you forward. And the, the chariot also brings about success. Now, in most chariot cards, yes, there are no reins. Okay? This is about releasing control and you let, letting the universe drive the chariot. Let the universe guide you. There is a sense of guidance receiving guidance that is going to lead you to the road of success. Success, you are on the fast track to success. There's external influences pushing you on the fast track towards success. Whether that's in career, love, I'm feeling more like in life in general. I feel that this summer, and it's starting in June, but this summer is going to be transformative for you, Libra. It's going to, as you release those things that are not serving you, that, and you're inviting new experiences in, it, these new experiences is putting you on that fast track. Your hopes and fears is the Hierophant. Some of you want to open to new relationships, new commitments. You're trying to show some faith in the process, in the divine. There is a spiritual sense of bother. Some of you are evolving spiritually here. But at the same time, some of you fear new commitments. But I don't feel a, that this fear is that strong. The fear is in the back of your mind. Am I going to sabotage myself again? Am I going to set myself up for failure? Okay, let's take a... I'm going to draw a couple cards on this Hierophant. And this is about... Can I give... Okay, thank you, Spirit. Can I give myself permission to love again? Or can I give myself permission to try a new career? Whatever the situation is. There's a permission factor here. A little bit rigid. Yeah, two of swords, two of pen. You cannot decide. There's a decision here that you've been going back and forth with. And I'm going to draw another card because I want to know what this decision is about. Um, just confirmation. It is about do I keep communicating with somebody or do I block them? You know, should I leave that door open? The strength card. You know, that's personal strength. Resistance. That is, um... Having the willpower. Uh-huh. 
Do I have the willpower to block all communication from this person? Where they can't contact me again. And then the other side, the other coin is saying, just in case, maybe you should leave that door open. Um, but there's a decision here. You're not really wanting to face it. Um, that's where I feel the permission factor is coming into play. Trying to give yourself permission to go ahead and pull that trigger and move on with your life. Okay, I'll come energy. We have the magician known as the witch in this card, in this deck. That is that magical power. That is whatever you put in that cauldron and you cook up and you concentrate on it and you manifest it. It's those thoughts that become things. Um, the, you, you are definitely in the power of manifestation. That's why I said over here, some of you are daydreaming so much and putting so much energy into a reconciliation this person coming back this person coming and apologizing and making things right that in the end it may be something that you don't really want okay okay show me this outcome show me this outcome please show me the outcome Show me the outcome. You've got the sun. There you go. You're manifesting happiness. The vitality. Breathing life back in to your spirit. Aha. Uh -huh. You want a commitment, honey? Commitments coming in. Happy commitment, higher level commitment. Um, sorry, interrupted by the bell, right? But we're almost done here. So, so the, there is. Through your manifestation process. This is why I say be careful about that manifestation. Um, it may not be what you want. But looking at this. Some of you are actually pulling in something really positive. You're looking for that happiness. You're, you're pulling in that... Um, that harmony, that new commitment, three of swords, okay, <sighs> page of cups, okay, we got to talk Libra, some of you are going to get your wish, you're going to get that apology. Somebody's going to apologize for hurting you. Okay. And there is a happy commitment on the horizon. Now, I think it's 50-50 here. Some of you, you're going to get that apology. But it's a little bit too late because you're entering into a, a, a new harmonious commitment others of you you're going to get that apology and you are entering it and you everything's going to be happy go lucky right now but the underlying energy I can't get away from this nine of swords and that nine of swords in fact I'll pull a couple cards on that I'm thinking that this has to do with uh, every time that person goes out the door, are they cheating? Are they meeting up with some? Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, three of three of cups. Exactly what I was thinking. Worried about is there another third party on the horizon? That's always going to be a concern of yours. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, that's why you got to be careful. 
about what you're trying to manifest. Okay, so. You got the heart. Love, emotions. The sun. You got a happy union coming in. You do have a happy union. Some of you, it is a choice too. You're going to have a decision which direction am I going in. Because I think there's new coming in and all that manifestation you're manifesting the old back. Um, whether they will cheat again or not. Okay. Um, it's hard to tell. But. It's more like. Okay, we have the gen good gentleman. Feels like somebody is pure of heart, but there's always going to be that cloud. Worried about every time they go out the door. Every time they're texting. Who are they texting? Um, yeah. Letter. Who are they communicating with? Who are they meeting? But, got a lot to think about, Libra. But I'm going to leave your reading here. And I love you all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love and light.